Hello, hello, Facebook and YouTube. This is your girl Stephanie, aka Edini Has Tusapukba, and I'm here to finally conclude the May readings. So sorry that it's taken me a while. Um, I know I have the sign of Capricorn and Aquarius to do. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's start with Aquarius. All right. Divine forces of unconditional love that is the sign of Aquarius need to know for their highest good for the month of May. I would like you all to know that this is a general message. And so, with that being said, this reading may not resonate with all Aquariuses. But I truly really feel like my messages are full of wisdom. So, feel like you will get something, some kind of wisdom or some message from this video, um, even if the whole storyline does not fit your current situation. Okay. So I do four rows of cards. I'm using... Four different decks here. So I think I'm just going to lay the cards out. The overall energy is protection guardian. Drop your shields. Wow. So Spirit wants you to know, Aquarius, that you're protected. All you need to do in this time is to be the light. To release the old things that are no longer serving you and rest. You know, uh, Mother Earth feel loved and comforted because you are, again, you are protected. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry for the lighting. I'm not in my usual area, um, but that's okay. Uh, wow. And then the last week of May, we have Trust Your Talents in Changing Times. Wow. Wow. Beautiful energy. Let's get some surrender cards. What do you need to surrender? So this is the first week of May. Second week of May. Third week of May. And the fourth week of May. Ooh, bottom of the deck. Surrender your fear of intimacy. And remember the first card is the protection guardian. So I feel like spirit is saying that it's safe to love. And in belief, beneath that is um, the fire garden, guardian. Ignite your passions. Um, and underneath the surrender your fear of intimacy is surrender the drama. You know, surrender those old stories that you've been telling yourself. That you're not worthy of love or... Um, Feeling that you're perhaps not good enough. Who knows what those, you know, old stories you need to release are. And this is the card for the second week of May. But um, I'm just going to do some tarot now. Get some tarot out on the table here. And then we'll go into the reading. And of course, yes, I'm doing um, each week of May. And so the first week of May, you can just, you know, get the messages there and see if it's in alignment with what you experienced your first week of May. You know? Um, wow. It's beautiful energy, though. You know, spirit is just saying, be the light. And supporting that is surrender defensiveness. So let's just get the cards out. I'm going to try not to look at them. Try not to look too much anyway. Let's 
just can't help it though. That is some, a lot of beautiful energy. I'm not surprised because it's coming out underneath the Mother Earth energy. So it could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Again, it's Earth energy. Alright, bottom of the deck. Ooh, the Judgment card. So there's some important decisions you need to make. And these, you know, this, this decisions that you're making are ones that are you know, most likely permanent, you know, because when the judgment card comes, it's about you answering the call on your life, you know, and truly living your purpose. It's about you ascending. And, you know, as you ascend to the next level, there's no turning back to the old ways. You don't even, you shouldn't even want to go back to the old ways. And, Nine times out of ten, it's usually impossible to go back to the old ways. And remember, the second week of May is asking you to release the old and rest, to surrender to creativity as well. We'll get into that. Almost done here, I promise. I've never really used these cards in a reading before. Let's see how it works. Overall energy is health as well. Got some beautiful cards with some Egyptian princesses, look like and queens, looks like goddesses. So the you know overall energy is self-love. Cause you look at here, you see this woman, she's being pampered you know by the people around her and the sun shining on her um, so good health is coming perhaps again the overall message was protection guardian so um, and right underneath that is the fire guardian surrender your fear of intimacy and the judgment so so most definitely spirit is wanting you to um, tap into the energy of self-love like you said, this woman is being catered to. So spirit is saying, drop your shields. Know that you're protected. We're, you're covered. First week of May, spirit is asking you to just be the, be the light and surrender defensiveness. Be the light. And it says defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear, non-defensive response. You know, come from a place of wisdom. Come from a place of a higher perspective, you know. And that's been the same message I feel that has been coming across for um, a lot of the signs. So when it comes to the tarot, we have here the Knight of Swords. So for me, that is, you know, a message coming in of you know we have the knight of swords and then we have the three of wands and then the five of swords so again I'm feeling the message of you know um, spirit saying wait before you respond make sure you're not responding from a place of defensiveness as the Knight of Swords is about a message coming in, the Three of Sor Three of Wands is about you know waiting and allowing your ships to come in, which is the the ships that are coming in could be wisdom, you know. And then the Five of Swords is about competition and drama. Spirit says again, the Protection Guardian is the overall message. You drop your shields. 
You don't have to fight. We got you. We're covering you. All you need to do is just be love, you know, be the light, surrender defensiveness. And then we have here the seven of uh, wands, which is, you know, standing your ground and just being the light, you know, not really engaging in into conflict with people. Um, but then we have here the Queen of Cups, which is all about um, intuition, you know, following your intuition, following um, or being in the energy of gentleness, you know, as you are protected here with the Nine of Wands, you are protected. Take matters into your own hands. And what you need to do is just be the light. Drop your shields and surrender defensiveness. First week of May. You know, that's just the principle that spirit is birthing in you. So we have the principle card. And then we have birth. That is the principle that spirit is birthing uh, in you. So that you can escape any unnecessary dramas so that's the first week of may hopefully you were in alignment with that energy wow so you can es escape the dramas right and then the second week remember i told you we had to release the old and rest you're releasing drama you're not engaging in petty arguments you're not engaging in petty um, situations or petty people you're releasing all of that shit. And you're focusing on yourself and you're focusing on your creativity. Because remember, at the end of the, the month, we had the trust your talents in changing times. And we're most definitely in changing times. And so this week, uh, because this is the second week of May uh, energy, Spirit wants you to surrender to creativity. It says, let your imaginations, imagination soar in this time. Stay open to all creative deal ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. And so within the tarot, we have here the Queen of Swords. And what is the Queen of Swords? The Queen of Swords is cutting out those things in your life that are no longer serving you, right? Release the old and rest. Then we have the Eight of Cups. Wow, look at that. Cutting out the things that are no longer serving you and walking away from those things. Walking towards your uh, Ten of Cups. Walking away from deception. Because we have the Seven of Swords here, which could be deception or it could be strategizing as well. Um, so you could be coming up with your strategy on how to release the old you know um, and then we have the eight of wands which it could be an initiation you know you again ascending higher this could be downloads coming in and it does say surrender to creativity let your imagination soar um, stay open to all creative ideas coming in. So this could be creative ideas on how to pursue your dream or solve a problem. Wow. And then we have the Knight of uh, Wands, which is you taking action, taking inspired action. Wow. And then you taking that inspired action, you're going to uncover some hidden truths right uncover some hidden truths and remember we had inspiration so inspired action here that's going to bring about you know this is convention so you know when people have conventions there are groups of people that gather around you're going to perhaps uh, bring about um a, a you know um an audience you know with your with your ideas that you're, you're you're having, and we have egotism here. Spirit wants you to make sure that you don't get too much into your ego when 
um, when this perhaps um, rush of abundance come in or when this rush of eyes come onto you and start to give you accolades and things like that, don't get a big head, you know? Um, in that time. All right, so third week of, <laughs> just kind of, it's just flowing, it's just in alignment. The third week of May, we have feel loved and comforted. So remember, I was just saying that there's gonna be Perhaps um, you might gain an audience and these people may get to the, you know, begin to, um, you know, just pour onto you love and accolades, feel loved and comforted, take it in, you know. Um, and then it says here, surrender to trust. Remember, trust that you're protected, you know, um, you may feel overwhelmed or feel like you can't handle all of this but trust that you're protected and then we have underneath it remember the fire guardian ignite your passion you're moving forward in your passion remember the overall energy is the judgment you know you are answering the call you're answering your purpose in life surrender to trust trust yourself in your decisions don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path so when it comes to the tarot, um, we have here the Knight of Cups. So this, all of this energy that's coming in is an unexpected blessing, you know, and you need to trust that you are worthy of it. Trust that you deserve this love. Trust that you deserve to be comforted. Trust that you are, are um, Deserving to receive your birthright. Wow, beautiful energy. I'm just looking at these other cards. You know, just, you know, trust that you're deserving. Release the burden of, you know, feeling unworthy. This is a conscious transformation, the Ten of Wands. You're releasing all of that negative talk. And remember, the first, that's the week prior to this one, is the release of old and rest. You are now able fully to truly release that those old stories that you've been telling yourself. Wow. And come into this energy of the four of ones. This is stability. This is celebration. This is, um, you know... Uh, solidifying a far, firm foundation, you know, for yourself. This could be marriage, you know, this could be um, a promotion, um, just a, a, a grand celebration, beautiful energy that's going to bring about healing. And here we go again with another, another celebration card. This could be your ancestors you know um surrounding you as we already I already told you that they're protecting you you have the protection guardian but they're celebrating because this has been a long journey for you and you're moving forward in willpower and determination you're moving forward in strength and the strength of knowing that you're loved and that you're protected and you're igniting the your passion and you're truly living in your purpose and what the last week of may Trust your talents in changing times. Surrender to complete healing. This is, again, and remember we had the Six of Cups card, which was the healing card for me. It's, as a reader, that is the card of healing. It says, open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support, right, your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. Protection guardian. This protection guardian, it are, is those, or are those loving, compassionate forces of the universe that, you know, are here to support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. What we have for the tarot, wow, beautiful energy, the emperor. This is you standing in your power. This is the king of kings energy, you know, uh, mastery. This is mastery. 
And then we have the King of of Pentacles, which I truly feel the wow, look at that. This is beautiful energy, Aquarius. The King of Pentacles, I truly feel like is um also the energy of the Emperor. You know, that nurturing fatherly energy that gives good advice, that um protecting energy. Which is going to bring about the Ten of Cups, that ultimate happiness. Remember, you were leaving things behind in the second week of uh, May. You're, in, you know, initiating that journey to going towards your Ten of Cups. Leaving behind those things that, you know, where you were comfortable in. And, you know, just moving forward. And then we have here the Knight of Pentacles. This is, you know, seeing the potential in, here we go, the king of wands, seeing the potential in the vision that you have, or the a vision that is birth, because, you know, the knight of, no, this is the page, page of pentacles, I'm sorry, which is still, you know, the potential. I had the correct meaning, but the wrong name. Um, but this is a new beginning. You're seeing a new potential in a vision that you have. And I forgot to go over these cards here for the third week of May. Which is, you know, you feeling loved, surrendering to trust. Um, you know, uh, a new blessing coming in that is going to bring about a conscious transformation you releasing those burdens that are holding you down that are blocking you and truly surrender um, solidifying a firm foundation here um, in the celebration a healing coming about with the six of uh, cups and then the three of cups here a celebration of the energy moving forward and willpower and determination and strength into acquisition and domination <laughs> you know so the Again, like I said, we're you know probably going to gain an audience that's going to bring about an acquisition of you know wealth. Trust that you're deserving of it. Not only is it going to bring in wealth, but domination. You're going to be uh, a force to be reckoned with in your chosen path, and it's going to bring about a vision here. You know, a vision for even more greatness. Wow! And then again, so. Back into the tarot, remember we had the emperor, we had the king of pentacles, we had the ten of cups. You know, this you're going to just abundance, 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 and passion here. And then we have, um, like I said, a new beginning, a passionate, um, a new opportunity coming in. And wow. You got the king and the queen of pentacles here in this energy. This is this is interesting. Wow, okay. I don't need uh, I guess I don't need. I was going to get some um, more tarot cards to clarify this energy, but I don't think I need it. You know. So again, emperor energy, taking control here. Again, taking double control with the king of pentacles. It's going to bring about that happiness because you, you've you done the work. You've done the work. And you're just going to continue moving in your vision and solidifying yourself even the more here with the queen of pentacles energy. You know, so some of you may be Capricorns, uh, or maybe be on the cusp, maybe a Capricorian. Um, but a lot of earth energy here, which is the pinnacles, which is money, a lot of abundance here. This is nothing but abundance here. The emperor, the king of pentacles, the ten of cups, the knight of pentacles, new opportunities, the king of wands, which is having that vision. And then the queen of fucking pentacles, which is, you know, more abundance. This is that nur more nurturing energy. Know that you are protected. Know that you are guarded. Um, so don't be in an energy of quarrel about taking risks. It's, 
at this point, it says here, trust your talents in changing times. Take those risks that you need, you know. As it says here, surrender to complete healing. No open to fully loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. You are protected. So you can go ahead and take those risks. And then we have resourcefulness. Come on. The king uh, and queen of pentacles, they're all about resourcefulness. To overcome any quarrel. Remember, we're civil you, you sur surrender to complete healing. You're trusting your talents and changing times. There's no need for you to quarrel uh, within yourself wondering if you can do this or not. You can. Overall energy. Remember, it's health. Surrender your fear of intimacy. You're ready to let love in. Compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. You are protected. Ignite your passions. Ignite your passion, Aquarius. Beautiful, beautiful reading. Beautiful, beautiful, powerful reading. I wish you all. I don't. You don't even need me to wish you the best because it's you covered. You don't need me. You don't need anybody. You just need yourself. Your trust in yourself. Your faith in yourself. Your confidence yourself in yourself, and also confidence in spirit and confidence in knowing that you are covered and that you're protected. That's all you need, Aquarius. Hashtag I love you all. And until next time, peace.